Hey guys, it's Lorenzo from Board Riders Review, and today I'm sitting here with John Wagner. Um, did I say that right, John Wagner? John Wagner. Wagner. Yeah. And John's an amazing shaper. He makes pipos, alias, fiberglass boards. I mean, I know yeah, I'm leaving some all out. All sorts of custom short boards, long boards. I, I, I make and ride just about everything, and I'm happy if anybody wanted any kind of custom board. I feel comfortable making it because I ride just about everything. So, anyways, one of the things he let me ride this last few weeks is this thing we're sitting on. And I'm going to tell you my side of it, and then he can correct me. My riding experience on this was amazing. It, it's got round rails and, and uh, a big single fin on it. And it was something that I thought I was going to really struggle on. But once I got on the board, you know, you have to pick the right waves. Um, it, what it did after a couple weeks of riding this thing, it really, really cleaned out my, cleaned up my style. It got rid of a lot of unnecessary movements or chatter, or what you call just spazzing out, basically. Um, so it was a phenomenal board. I feel like, like it got some, you know, soul back into my surfing. So really cleaned up all the crap that I experience when I'm surfing a, a lighter or down rail board. But, anyways. Uh, had a phenomenal experience. If you ever get a chance to ride one of these things, it's amazing. But I'm going to let John tell you about the board. I'm going to get out of the way and let him talk. Okay, the board Lorenzo Road is a 9.8, pretty classic, you know, longboard design. It's about 23 and a half inches wide. The nose is 18 and a half, and the tail a little over 16. But as you can see, it's just kind of a full board, just the traditional longboard. What we did here is we did the, what they call the old airplane wing construction. We have ribs that go this way on the board and then these are each individually glued down so uh, which is a little bit different than the style they call chambering but uh and then from the rails out is solid wood and uh so it's a very sturdy board this board unless it gets close to a fire should pretty much last forever and uh, it, it's it's a little bit weighty but uh you know uh for surfing wise it 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 it'll never should never really fall apart and uh, what's great about the wood and weight is that it carries a momentum that a foam board can never duplicate even if you glass it really heavy uh, the way wood works it drives through sections it has momentum and a whitewash can hit it and it will push through so if you pick this board up it you know it's pretty weighty. I, I think this board's about 30, a little over 30 pounds, but in the water, once you're riding a wave, uh, it picks up speed and moves and it utilizes that weight to just power through things. But at the same time, it's fast and fairly loose. It's, it's buoyant. It's filled with air and, and the way the wood bends and stuff creates a pretty good reactionary board to, to, uh, to movement. Now, you're not going to throw it around you know, like a really light board, but you're gonna do some really nice solid uh, turns on it. But most of all, you're gonna get your best trims you probably ever got. Um, this board has a little bit of sequoia wood on it. The, uh, the dark wood is sequoia and the, the lighter wood is polonia. Um, I usually put a, a glass on fin on it, but this one we have a box. It was, this is actually the first one that my brother Kurt and I put together. My brother Kurt, uh, helps me put the blanks together. He's got a nice wood shop. It's a beautiful board. We've made, uh, I think we've made about 12 of them now, uh, varying in length from a fish board up to these nine eights. Um, and, uh, you know, I think everybody should try them. And if you find yourself, you know, like uh, Lorenzo was saying, I cleaned up the surfing. What, you know, what happens, you know, sometimes you try to start doing so much that you start, uh, you know, you get frustrated sometimes because you're trying to do these turns, but they're not happening but just because you're trying too hard to surf. Well, you get on a board like this and the board kind of teaches you how to ride a wave. It, it, the board can do a lot of its own surfing on its own, just like I said, due to its weight and momentum will put itself in the correct pockets of waves. And so sometimes you can just kind of stand there and the board will uh, do a lot of uh, of course finding its course for you and then you take that and you put that in your memory bank to your other boards and it really contributes to your surfing if you're interested in these boards go ahead and look me up at wegenersurf.com that's w-e-g-e-n-e-r 
or uh, you know, give me a call and I'm happy to talk to you on the phone and answer any questions you need to know. Thank you very much. <laughs>